Hello, hello there, my crafty friends. It's Candy here from SweetStamper.com, and I am here with your Teach Me Tuesday weekly Facebook Live. I come here on Facebook.com slash SweetStamper every Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central Time with a Teach Me Tuesday. So we do some kind of a tutorial, some kind of a tips and tricks video. Uh, hello, Laura. Hi, Susan. Um, some kind of learning how to use a product or something like that, some kind of a teaching. Um, so that is what we're going to be doing today. I do also come here every Thursday, and that is for simple and stepped up stamping. Hey, Kathy, I'm glad you're here with me today. So that's the way I come to you every week. I would love for you to like my Sweet Stamper page here. And when you do that, it helps you to be able to see notifications for when I'm going to go live. And it also helps me uh, because Facebook likes it when people like your pages. So um, thank you for being with me here today. Hey, Barb, it's nice to see you here in the middle of the day. We have a really overcast day here in San Antonio. And uh, we have another cool front coming in tonight, which I will never complain about. So we have so much heat in the summertime that I absolutely love, love the cool weather. And um, hey, Gail, I'm glad you're here. We've had really unusual weather this year with um, our kind of unprecedented, historic, record-breaking snows and cold temperatures. Um, so we shall see how that's going to affect um, the uh, spring and summer planting season. So um, we are running, I'm, well, I'm running just a couple minutes behind. So I'm going to go ahead and bring camera down. I will tell you that um, we have, we are in the midst of the um, Stamped Up Retiring list. Hey Judy, I'm glad you're here as well. So I'm gonna be featuring, between now and the end of April, I'm gonna be featuring largely retiring products because they're available uh, well, while supplies last. Stamp sets are guaranteed through, I think, April the 22nd. Um, and then those will also be while supplies last. And the reason we're able to do that is Stampin' Up! We produce those um, in Utah and in a small town, um, not too far away from the home office, a couple of hours drive. And so we're able to turn that around pretty quickly. But other things that we have to order in, you know, for manufacturers, they take a much longer turnaround time. And so we're not able to turn those around nearly as quickly. And um, speaking of, um, you know, our back order situation continues to just be challenging. And that is because uh, of a number of things largely COVID related, which I know it's not just our industry, it's industries across the board and has to do with, with raw materials, shipping them, uh, produce, getting them, um, then the manufacturing process, and then shipping those finished products and the challenges with shipping right now. So uh, most of us uh, are feeling that with our mail and all kinds of other things. So I'm trying to get a price here for you so that I actually can um, uh, speak about this with um, actual intelligence here. Um, aye, 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 let's see. Ornate, well, let's see. Oh, Ornate Garden, it's right in front of me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and bring the um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring my camera down and we're gonna talk. Hey, Jackie, I'm glad you're here too. I'm going in for sale products today and I personally am a bargain lover. And so that's where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna to start today with projects that involve some great bargain products, bargain price products, and uh, but we're gonna make something really beautiful with them. So what I wanted to bring your attention to is the Ornate Garden aye, 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 Specialty Designer Series paper. I will tell you that I have just purchased a new um, tripod uh, phone holder, but I have to actually work with it a little bit before I go live with you because I'm still learning how to use it. So let's see if we manage to get uh, into the... Um, into the camera. 
Okay, kind of a funky angle there. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, I think we're a little bit, there we go. Let's see if that's better. I think I'm probably a little bit close and I will um, bring it up a little bit as we move forward. Um, so Jackie, you are back in Nebraska. I imagine you're going up to Nebraska for uh, the summer where it's a lot cooler than here in San Antonio and South Central Texas. So this is my little um, sampler sheet showing you all the different designs in this gorgeous designer series paper. Now this is a $15 specialty paper. It's on sale right now for $6, people. I mean, that is just amazing. So I wanted to share with you some of the things that I've already done with it and then uh, what we're gonna do with it today because I have uh, a cool card to show you today. We're actually gonna make it a couple of different ways. I know I'm still adjusting camera. Ugh, this is why I've got something that has a little different arm on it. Should help us to not have quite so much of the um, at sea effect. Okay, that's a little bit better. So um, let me show you, and then we'll do a little bit of review because I normally do that. So I'm actually going to be also showing you this lovely punch. So this is just a class I had done earlier this year. And here's a little fancy fold card using this beautiful paper. This has, uh, this is gold. It, it has a metallic gold um, imprint on there. And it just makes for a lovely, lovely card. Understated elegance, I believe, is the way I would describe it. Um, here's a simple one. I'm gonna be showing you uh, what I did with this paper here. I actually have card class tonight here at my house. And we're gonna be using this paper and this punch. And then this is very, very elegant where this uses, there's actually two different designs in this paper. One that has these large flowers and then one that has the smaller ones as far as the gold and white. And then um, last but not least, I have this one. And all of them are using this punch. This punch is also, I believe it's on sale. Um, I'm trying to pull up um, prices for you, but I do know that the paper is on sale for $6. 12 by 12 pack of paper for $6. It's almost unheard of. So they must have a fair bit of it in the, in the uh, warehouse is my guess. Now, you'll notice that I also used on here um, some ribbon. And the ribbon, there is a combo pack of ribbon that is also deeply discounted. Um, I think it was like $10 to begin with, and I don't know, I can't remember exactly what it's on sale for. But these are while supplies last, and you see how these colors go beautifully with this paper. But this is Old Olive, and this is uh, Terracotta Tile. Now, although Terracotta Tile is a retiring in color, it blends beautifully with, uh, this This blends beautifully with Calypso Coral. Because truth be told, Terracotta Tile and, tr and Calypso Coral are really, really close to each other. Terracotta tile is a little bit more uh, tomato-y, but it blends really, really well. So um, let me show you one more thing, and that is that these are all the different colors that are represented in Ornate Garden. And so we have Early Espresso, Gold Foil, uh, Pool Party, Old Olive, Terracotta Tile, and Bumblebee. So let me move my little cheat sheet out of the way and show you where we are going to go today. I wanted to give you some tips and tricks about how to use this um, punch, which I think is really a must have for your collection if you do not already have this. And then um, it coordinates with this stamp set. And I believe that both these items are on special. I, you know, I really should have looked that up. I was scrambling to get so many things done before I came to you. Um, so let me just check really quick. I know that the paper is on sale for $6. The ribbon is, let me see. The ribbon is on sale for, oh my goodness. This ribbon, people, is $2.80 for both rolls. I mean, this was a $7 pack, which actually was a really good buy to begin with. You do get um, five yards of each color, $2.80. I didn't realize it was that cheap. I mean, that's just kind of unheard of price. 
So, you know, I would say you need to go to my online store if you're not a demonstrator. If you are a demonstrator, go to your online store and get this while you can. The punch is also deeply discounted. This was $18 and it's on sale for $7.20. And then I'm glad I looked this up real quick. I will kind of give you, I, I was in the process of putting together a little um, inspiration sheet for today. Um, let's see, Butterfly Gala. Let's see if this is on sale. Get the English one. No, the stamp set is not on sale. It's $21. So let me show you a couple of things about it, and then we are going to make something with this beautiful set. So it is something I'm featuring at my uh, in person card class tonight. Yeah, Susan, this is, I can see why this is a favorite punch. You know, this is the, a size that you can put on uh, cards very nicely, it, it works great for scrapbook pages. Um, you can do all kinds of little treats and 3D holders with it. You can see here how pretty it looks with the vellum. Just a very delicate look when you layer that vellum on top of a regular cardstock. And uh, so this, that's kind of what I did with all of these. So let me show you a couple of things about the stamp set and then we're going to stamp. Okay, so with this stamp set, it is a two-step stamp. And so what that means is that you have the stamp itself, and then you have the fill-in images um, to be able to stamp quickly. I love the fact that you have three different, well, actually four different styles of butterfly, and I love the fact that you, you stamp them together, and then that means that it's very quick to punch them out together as well. So you have a fill-in for the little butterfly here, and then you also have a fill in for the large butterflies. Again, you have four different styles. I'm gonna be using this one. This is more, these are a little bit more artistic. This is a little bit more of a natural looking, uh, authentic, you know, nature, nature butterfly. So let me go ahead and pull this in, show you where we're gonna go. So we're gonna remake a card, and I'm gonna give you a few tips and tricks on how to get the most out of this gorgeous, gorgeous butterfly. Um, what we're going to do is, or what I did here, and then we're going to make this card a little bit different. So you can see this is one of the uh, pieces of designer series paper. This is five and a half by three inches. And um, I'm going to show you how I got this effect with the butterflies because I've done tone on tone with cardstock ink and then added Wink of Stella. And they just come out really, really pretty. I love the fact that you have excellent greetings in this stamp set. Everything from You've Been On My Mind and A Little Note. Both of those are kind of all, you know, just you could send those to anybody anytime. Um, the good things in life are better with you and thank you so very much are really nice. And then Hello Beautiful. I mean, those are just great uplifting cards. So hopefully, you know, you have this set, and if you don't yet, you're gonna run over to my online store and grab it before it's gone. Now I used, um, this is Blushing Bride, and I am going to change this up a little bit and just walk you through. I'm gonna go with Crumb Cake this time, and I will say that when I use the gold, um, the gold metallic papers. I really like to use crumb cake with it. It's a really nice pairing. So this, when you when you get the gold in just the right light, it kind of looks like crumb cake, but when you get it in the light, it really, really shines so beautifully. So we're going to use just two colors of ink. We're going to stamp in early espresso. And again, if you, um, if you don't have terracotta tile, I believe it has already sold out the ink. I don't believe you can get it any longer. Um, I would recommend that you use terracotta, uh, sorry, um, ay, ay, ay. Uh, Calypso Carl because it's super close. Let me stand up so I can see over this and get it straight. You've been on my mind. That is a great one to send somebody. So super simple, I like the very clear, very crisp font. And then I need my little adhesive kit here. So let's get a little bit of seal on here. And 
stick this there. You see how nice that would look too? So you could go in a totally different direction. And you see how that's a really nice daisies. They're such happy flowers. But if you put it this way, you get a more elegant look and more of a monochromatic look. So that's what I'm gonna go for today, just because that's kind of the direction I've already planned. And then we're going to learn a little bit about how to utilize this punch for best practices, which will just help us. Now, I've got a little bit of overhang there. Let's see if I've got a pair of snips close by. There we go. You know, sometimes when you prep your cards and you prep your paper, you get a little bit off. And so you can just come along here afterwards once you get it down and get all of your edges straight because first of all, that wouldn't fit into my car, my envelope very easily. So now that is, oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put some ribbon down. So let's just lift that a little bit and see if we can't get this slipped underneath. Let's see. Let's see if the seal is going to release. Ha ha ha. Oh, yes. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do, because I have kind of fudged here, I am going to, oh, it's sticking to my finger. I'm going to put a couple of mini glue dots on the back. And to be honest, a lot of times I'm just lazy and I put the seal down and use it to hold my ribbon. Um, but the very best way to adhere ribbon is with a mini glue dot. It won't come up that way. Sometimes, depending on the fabric of the ribbon, um, your seal will not, you know, it'll kind of loosen from the seal. And so you do have to be mindful of that. I ribbon is not doing right here. Somehow this got caught. There we go. Okay. So let's see. I have... Oh, a mini glue dot here and a mini glue dot here. And let's just keep this going. So we're going to take this terracotta tile ribbon. Again, remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is on sale for $2.80. I mean, what is not to love about that bargain price? I mean, that is a that is an amazing bargain price. Okay, so let's see if I got it straight. I think I did, but it needs to be a little bit tighter. Ay, ay, ay. See, this is what you do when you're talking and not paying as much attention as you should. Okay, let's see if that will work now. Okay, so, ay, ay, ay. Okay, Candy, sometimes when you're working upside down, you get it a little bit, um, you get it a little bit crooked. Okay, you know, this is where your bone folder can just go in there and burnish all kinds of places for you. Now, um, what we're going to do is I have a long skinny piece of terracotta tile. You see how that nicely matches? So, so pretty. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my outline image of my butterflies and I'm going to stamp them in um, early espresso. Now, I have a long skinny piece, but I'm going to stamp it near the bottom. And that is going to allow me to feed it into my punch and not have um, any trouble getting it in there. Hmm. That didn't come out all that well. I think I need to put, see how I've got a little bit of pale uh, butterfly down there at the bottom? And I really do want a crisp image. So technically, we really should be using this foam mat when we are stamping with photopolymer stamps. So let's just hold that into place for a couple of seconds. And hopefully everybody's still with me. Everybody's being very quiet. So that's all of the um, early espresso ink that I'm going to be using. I think Laura was on here with us and she is going to be here at my class tonight. Now I'm going to use terracotta tile ink and I'm just going to go tone on tone terracotta tile ink right on the terracotta tile um, uh, cardstock and whoopsie that came off. So you know I have a little bit of sometimes these photopolymer stamps they're so sticky they will pick up little bits of lint 
and hair. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make sure that's really clean. And now look how this will quickly and easily fill this in. Now, the nice thing is if you were doing this on white cardstock, you could easily just go in and color the um, color the butterfly with all kinds of blends. You know, you get almost like a stained glass effect. So lots of ways that you can do these butterflies and get a really pretty look. So I, like I said, I'm just going tone on tone. But what I wanna do when I finish is I wanna put the little bodies on there, but this is one of my top tips with this stamp set is you actually want to um, punch this out first and add the bodies afterwards, and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, Betty, I'm gonna miss terracotta tile too. I love oranges. Um, I love to wear oranges. Um, they work really, really well for me. Um, and terracotta tile, it, it is so close to Calypso Coral that I will be okay, but it is a lovely color. It really is. So that is the way you want to best practice do your punching, punch, you know, feed your um, cardstock down. Now, what I've done, I, 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 I kind of messed that up. No, I guess I didn't. Um, I think I kind of brought it down a little bit too far. Um, I'm gonna come back in here now with my early espresso ink and I'm gonna do the body. And the reason for this is if you do it before you, before you, ay, 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 whoa, that was close. That was a close call. If you do this before you punch it out, it's really hard to get the body lined up accurately. So now I kind of can see exactly where this is gonna go. And so that is going to help me to position the body. I mean, the body is such a small little stamp so you really do need to get it in the right place. There's a small, sorry, I'm having to go through here and clean up with my alcohol wipes, uh, my little alcohol pads. Um, I got a little bit of early espresso ink on there and that could be disastrous. So here is my little tiny body for my little tiny butterfly here. But you see how that finishes them off and makes them look really so sweet. Now, I do need to close this up because, again, that could be a little disastrous. Not looking for any disasters today. And then I'm going to go in here and I'm going to attach these and I'm going to do it with um, the mini glue dots. And that's not mini glue dots, the mini dimensionals. This is where these little guys can really, really help you. Now, I want my butterflies to be um, kind of flying off the page a little bit, so I'm gonna put just one, that's all I need. And that is going to go like so. And then I like my butterflies to be flying in different directions so that you have, you know, your eye doesn't just kind of follow in one, in one spot. So look how pretty already. Now the finishing touches, and I'm hoping this will show up in the camera, is I'm going to add Wink of Stella to the whole body. And I don't know if you can tell, but you know, this is the color that we started with. And you see how much deeper we're getting it by adding the ink first and then adding the Wink of Stella, which will darken it a little bit and also bring that all important soft shine and glimmer. Hey, Laura, you are here. Um, so then the last two little things that I'm going to do is I am gonna add some of these elegant faceted gems. This is a beautiful, beautiful um, embellishment. It's actually in our new catalog as well. So this carried over. I love these because you get clear, you get these petal pink, and then you get an opaque white. And honestly, they all look good, but you know, I'm, well, you know what? I used, um, on my original, I used the um, petal pink, but I think here to tie in with that white background, 
I'm going to go with this opaque white, and I think that's gonna make my butterfly really, really pop. A big uh, gem for the big butterfly, a little gem for the little butterfly, and then last but not least, I'm going to run this ribbon right underneath here, and I'm going to make a little bow. I could make a knot, but I have, um, I think this really kind of lends itself to a bow. So let's see if I'm doing it upside down. So let's see if we can make it go in the right direction from the upside down position. And to me, this is really just like tying your shoes. Well, that's if you keep your loops straight. Okay, let's try again. That is going under there. Hmm, there we go. And then once you pull, then you go in and adjust your um, loops so that it's not this big, huge, wonking bow, but just a little bit of daintiness and prettiness, that's all we want. And so we have these pops of orange on here, pops of terracotta tile. If you have terracotta tile, now you have a freshly inspired way to use it. So there we have the same exact card done with two different pieces of designer series paper and two different pieces of the um, ribbon Again, the paper is on sale for $6. The ribbon is on sale for $2.80, unbelievable. And you get two very, very different cards. In addition to that, the, um, the punch that was originally $18, I think it's also, I don't know, was it $6.80, something, something dirt cheap. So just lots of fun things you can do with this. And these are my top tips for using the butterfly stamps and punch together is to uh, use a long skinny piece of cardstock, feed it into your punch this way, and then after you punch out, then you're going to add the little bodies for your butterflies. And then also to give your butterflies a really, really strong punch of color is to layer the color. When you layer up, the cardstock, and then the ink on top of that. And then you add Wink of Stella on top of that. Then you get this very, very deep, very rich looking color. And when you look at this compared to this, you can see you know, how we're able to really, really bring the depth and the layers of color into that card to make it look so special. So this is actually quick and easy, but it has a lot of elegance. And I think that's what I love about this Ornate Garden Suite. Um, it's a, it actually is a whole suite. Uh, the stamp sets are carrying over. The uh, papers never do. Um, well, I say never, almost never do. So um, again, this is my set of cards that I had done previously using this exact set of paper. And this... Um, this fun punch and these lovely, lovely ribbons. So that is it, Teach Me Tuesday today, tips and tricks on using the uh, Butterfly Duet Punch, which is on sale and retiring, and um, tips and tricks on how to use the Butterfly Gala stamp set to make really beautiful, realistic butterflies with lots of layers of color. And my other top tip is to buy these products while you still can. Um, again, this is terrific for scrapbooking. These butterflies are terrific for scrapbooking. I also love butterflies on sympathy cards. Um, they are such a beautiful symbol um, of resurrection. So you can use butterflies actually on sympathy cards. You can use them on Easter cards. You can use them on anything to do with nature and just to give you that little punch of color, that little punch of something that kind of just is symbolic of freedom, of resurrection, of new life, so many different things. So butterflies are a classic, 
classic image. I love the fact that you get four different uh, ways of creating butterflies with a Butterfly Gala stamp set and some excellent greetings. So I am going to love you and leave you. It's been a quick one today. Um, I'm so glad you like the cards. I will have pictures of this and I will have inspiration sheets for you um, in a little while. I'm just right before I came on, I was filming my um, Simply Succulents class, which is my Cards with a Twist class for April. And I'm gonna get that out to you right now. So um, I have my in-home class tonight, Real Stampers face-to-face making cards and um so yeah oh good i'm glad kathy that i gave you some ideas for sympathy cards i love butterflies on sympathy cards they are just yeah they're that they're a great symbol so um and it is they are just a bit of spring and i do think that the ornate garden it gives you spring and it gives you spring with elegance which is you know that's a look that i'm always going to enjoy and really gravitate towards. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Uh, don't forget to get Ornate Garden Designer Paper, $6 for 12 sheets of, uh, what is it called, the um, specialty paper. Uh, the ribbon, $2.80, crazy, crazy cheap. And um, I will see you here Thursday for Simple and Stepped Up Stamping. Thank you so much, take care, and God bless.